dear students this, this is dr kiran deshwal assistant professor english and in this video lecture i will teach you the poem ulysses composed by british poet alfred lord tennyson in my previous video which i have shared yesterday i have talked about the introduction of the poet and about this poem as i told you the hero of this poem is ulysses who is desirous to work on to move on and to con to do continue his efforts and adventures so he is a person with vivacious spirit and in this video lecture we will do a line by line analysis of this poem this poem was written in the form of dramatic monologue and dramatic monologue is a, is a speech delivered to silent listeners so in this poem ulysses is the speaker and what he says his psychological chain of thoughts we will know in this poem let us begin the poem ulysses by alfred lord tennyson he is thinking that it little profits we know that ulysses is the king of ithaca who has returned from the battle of troy he is a victorious king and now he has retired but he don't like his retired life he want to do adventures again it little profits that an idle king by this still he earth among these barren crags matched with an aged wife i meet and dwell unequal laws unto a savage race that who art and sleep and feed and know not me he says that i am a king and it little profits that an idle king but i am sitting idle i'm just avoiding and punishing people but this is not enough for me this is not profitable for me this is not beneficial for me by this still heard i am sitting along with this still heard among these barren crags and the fire which is burning in this heard it's like barren crags and my wife is along with me and matched with an aged wife and i only confer awards and offer punishments to people so it becomes unequal because to some i award and to some i punish this is these are unequal laws unto a savage race unto the people who are unlearned who are savage that who are and sleep and feed and know not me and these people don't know me now ulysses says that the savage race my public my subjects who just who are things and just sleep and just feed and know not me they direct don't know who am i so i cannot waste my life like this i cannot rest from travel he is a person who don't want to stop that's why he is saying that i cannot rest from travel i want to travel more i will drink life to the least i would like to enjoy my life to the last breath to the last moment of my life because all his life he had done adventurous works all times i have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly i have enjoyed battling i have enjoyed uh, traveling and adventurous things in the, all those things though he had suffered greatly both with those that loved me he adventured with the people who loved him and alone also he uh, struggled a lot on shore on the sea shore and when through scudding drifts the rainy heights vexed the dim sea and when there was a storm in the sea he also enjoyed that moment i am become a name thus he became famous he became a victorious king for always roaming with a hungry heart his heart is always hungry for to get more to achieve more he is an ambitious person much have i seen and known he has seen a lot of thing he knows a lot of thing 
cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. He had seen a lot of things. The manners, how do people live, how do people eat, the different climates, different geographical climates, environmental climates, and different councils and different governments, governments of different places where he had traveled, myself not least, but honored of them all, and he had respected them all and drunk delight of battle with my peers he delighted in battling and he had drunk the delight the pleasure of battle with his with his uh, soldiers far on the ringing plains of windy troy he had fought a great battle on the battleground of troy country i am a part of all that i have met he had become a part of all those things he had met. So here he is recalling his past. He want to live that life again. Yet all experience is an arc where through. He says that all experience is just a gate through which I have to pass. It's just a road and the road never ends. Yet all experience, all which I have experienced, inspires me to do more gleams that untraveled world and that gate the untraveled world gleams i can look the world which i have to travel now still i have to do things more well whose margin fades and its outlines its boundaries extended as i walk as i travel Forever and forever when I move, whenever I move, it goes beyond my reach. So I have to attain more. I have to achieve more. How dull it is to pause. He don't like to stop. He says that stopping is very dull. To make an end, he don't want to make an end of his works. He wants to keep on working. To rust unburnished, he says that if you stop, you will be rust. Not to sign in use, your signing will lost. So, if you want to keep signing, you have to work on, you have to move on, you have to keep working. And those to breathe were life, and that is only life. Life is not stopping. If you stop, you become stagnated, you become bored. If you keep on moving, you shine. Life piled on life were all too little and life is very little and I have to do a lot of things and of one to me little remains and now I have retired I am aged for me life has remained a very little I am left with a very little time but every hour is saved but I want to utilize every single minute of my life from that eternal silence, from death, I have, say, I have say, saved some hours. I have left with some time. After that, I will die. But before that, I, will, I would like to do something. Something more, a bringer of new things. I would like to bring new changes. And while it were for some three sons to store and hoard myself, I would like to store so many awards for me and this gray spirit yearning in desire this gray spirit gray means old i am an old person and my soul is has become old but still my spirit is earning in desire still i am desirous to follow knowledge i want to follow knowledge like a sinking star a star which sinks it signs a lot it shines brightly like that star i would like to shine brightly before sinking before my death beyond the utmost bound of human thought i would like to go beyond the boundaries of human thought beyond humans can think beyond people can think i would like to go beyond that people think that you are all you should sit down but not i will i will not sit down i would like to go more and more I don't worry for my kingdom, who will run my kingdom, who will rule here. I'm tension free because this is my son, my mine own Telemachus. 
Telemachus is Ulysses son so he says that this is my son my Telemachus to whom I leave this scepter and the isle my sword and the and my kingdom will be guarded will be saved and will be ruled by my king by my son Telemachus who will be the king after me so I am tension free about my kingdom Telemachus will run it better well loved of me discerning to fulfill my son is well loved by me and he is discreet enough he is wise enough to fulfill this labor to rule my kingdom by slow prudence to make mild resid people slowly slowly he will make civilized these people and through soft degrees subdue them to the useful and the good and he will make them better students just go through all these lines and understand this poem we will be continue in our next video thanks for watching